What's up guys, Raziel here, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can be f***ing terrible at Final Fantasy XIV. I am Raziel. Now, first and foremost, when selecting a server, make sure you pick one outside of your region. That way, you will ensure that you have the worst ping you possibly can get. In addition, make sure you buy a skip potion uh, to skip the first 60 and once Shadowbringers comes out, probably 70 levels of the game, as well as an, the, skip the entire storyline to ensure that you are completely lost and fully equipped with a hotbar full of abilities that you have no clue how the fuck they even work. And on that last note, make sure you do absolutely no research on any of the classes or jobs, and instead you just ask what's the best one to play. Ask just a random person what's the best one to play, or shit, ask a YouTuber what's the best class in the game. Because the meta is the most important thing in the whole world. I mean, whether you have fun playing, the class is irrelevant, okay? If people see you playing any job that isn't meta, they will instantly judge you. So to avoid this, just make sure that, uh, you know, you, you, you pick whatever job everyone tells you is the best. Don't think for yourself now. Do what other people say is best. Now this, this next, next one is key, so pay close attention, okay? When doing raid content, make sure you have also done no research on this as well, or on your rotation, and you've never even tried anything on a target dummy. Don't practice. Whatever you do, don't practice. Just hit buttons one through four on your keyboard, all the World of Warcraft rotation style. And it's fine, you know, just to stand in ground effects. When shit appears on the ground, just stand there. Ignore mechanics. Mechanics should adjust to you and your play style, and not the other fucking way around. Number four. Make sure when using the party finder, that you never watch any guides beforehand, especially if you're attempting to do savage or extreme mode difficulty. Believe me, okay? Also, do what you can to try and lie to all your party members about having completed the content on an alt job or, or joining pi parties that are clearly not listed as practice groups or learning parties. Join and or create clear parties so you can truly be the biggest piece of shit out on that field. You, you've got to lie your ass off. I mean, they won't even notice that you're the problem for at least four pulls. So, you know, come on. For the fifth tip on how to be really terrible, make sure that if you have anything you need to do in real life, like that, you know, you wait until your party is completely full and has just queued and, and zoned into the instance before you go AFK. The longer you can be a cocksmoker and keep your party waiting, the better. So make sure that, you know, the second you the, the raid leader starts setting up markers and talking about what strategy you're using, you promptly don't even say you're going AFK. You just get up and you, you walk away from your, your computer or your PS4 for as long as you possibly can. All right, on to pro tip six. In the event that you die, make sure that you take no responsibility for your death. Your first go-to should be lag. I lagged. It was lag, guys. Lag. Even though we live in an age of broadband, people will buy it, at least for the first few attempts. Once that excuse is worn out, start to blame other members of your group for not holding aggro or not giving you heals. If that falls apart and that fails, start using your real-life obligations as excuses of why you're so bad. Just uh, you know, such as um, you have a job or you have kids and, and that way you can use your kids and your job and the things going on in your real life as a crutch while simultaneously shaming other people who maybe don't have kids or maybe, you know, don't have as many obligations as you, uh, but they want to spend more time than you in the actual game. This is a perfect chance to shame them and call them a fucking no-lifer and a loser. So it's win-win. You get out of the bad situation, you shift the blame, and somebody else feels bad. Okay, okay, okay. Part 7. This brings me to the next tip. The last tip sparked my memory. 
if any superior player of any player in the game that's better than you are gives you any kind of advice during the fight, such as where you're positioning your character, uh, the fight's mechanics, or or offers to help you learn your rotation, just this is the way to get out of that situation, okay? All you have to type and tell them is you don't pay my sub. And then just continue being the biggest piece of shit in the game. I mean, you can literally get away with that. Just, you don't pay my sub, and you're free of all responsibility and obligation, just like that. Also, if at the start of an encounter, these people invite you to their Discord server, just ignore it. Don't connect or say you don't have a mic. I mean, because we all know how fucking terrifying it is to have somebody else on the internet hear your voice. I mean, just from the sound of your voice alone, they might, you know, find where you live and, and, and fucking just rape you while you're sleeping. You just never know. You never know. They'll trace your IP address. Uh, they'll make fun of your, your high squeaky voice or your deep, low, manly voice. They'll, they'll make fun of you in some way. So it's just better to avoid that situation altogether. Just ignore it or lie and say you don't have a mic. Okay, now it's time for the final tip. Once you are finally kicked from multiple groups, proceed at this point. This is really key. This is really important, my friends. Proceed to log out of the game and go on the Final Fantasy XIV Reddit or the forums, or even better, even better, make a YouTube video explaining how the game is shit and needs to cater more towards people who don't know as much and don't have as much time to play like you, while simultaneously saying the game has also become way too casual now, which is, is why you don't feel like investing time into it. So, I would, those, that's your best bet, okay? I know all of these points that I mentioned, they might be hard to remember. You might have to watch this video a few times to really get, you know, really get this down. But if, as long as you can remember this, this, this following phrase, this following sentiment, you'll be okay. Personal responsibility is your kryptonite. Never take responsibility for your own improvement and self-growth. That's fucking insane. Why would you do that? Nothing is your fault ever. Just remember that. Never admit you make mistakes. You're, you're, there's no way the problem is you. It's everyone else. It's the game. Just remember this and you'll be fine. So guys, that was my guide to how to be fucking terrible at Final Fantasy XIV. If you're a new player coming from another MMO like WoW, well, this is a direct and accurate guide of how to bring toxicity from another game into this one. So if you want to be a worthless piece of shit, now you know how. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, follow me on my Twitch. I don't really link Twitter anymore because I don't use it uh, for live streaming. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys, everybody, for the support over the last few weeks. It really, really means a lot to me. And uh, as always, my friends, keep it real.